What is going on guys? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the Scan DynamoDB API. Um, so I'm gonna talk about what this API is, why it's useful, why you wanna use it in certain cases. And then I'm gonna show you an example of how to actually call this API using uh, Node.js with JavaScript. Uh, so the scan API just basically is like a, a select star from table if you're coming from SQL. So it can basically just, you know, iterate over your entire table and get all the results back. Um, so keep in mind that you're, you're kind of limited by the fact that for a given API call, you can only retrieve a fixed amount of results. So a maximum set of results. Uh, and the constraint is dependent on either the number of rows or the size of the rows that are coming back. Um, so if you have a particularly large table, you're going to have to perform multiple scan operations in sequence. Uh, there's also an option to use parallel scanning, which I'm not going to talk about in this video, but it's a useful topic. Um, and you use the kind of um, pagination is what it's called uh, pattern in order to get the uh, next set of results. So you need to perform multiple different queries to get all the results in your table if you have a large table. Uh, so that's why it's, it's useful if you want to kind of get all the data of your table at once. Keep in mind, it's not a good idea if you have a big table to use this API to get like get data in a practical way, since it can take a long time to iterate over all of the different pages um, to get all your data. So make sure you design your table in such a way that you can get items by ID or get items by queries or get items by using a global secondary index. So if you don't know what those things are, you don't know how to design a table, go check out my video on DynamoDB schema design. I also have another one on global secondary indexes that you should check out because I talk about these details in, in depth. Um, so you should know about how those work before you're kind of using this API. Um, so let's just talk about what this thing does, how it works. So like I said, scan, you, you scan over your entire table. Uh, you can also provide a filter expression to say, you know, when you're scanning, only give me the results back that match some condition. So say you're only looking for values where, you know, X equals five, you can apply a filter expression on top of the scan so that you only get values back where X equals five. Uh, so very useful for kind of narrowing down your results. Um, second here, so this is kind of what I was saying. So if your your scan exceeds the limit of one megabyte per call, then you'll get back what's called the last evaluated key. Uh, and in which case you would need to use pagination. You pass in the evaluated key on your next result or your next query call, I should say, and then it'll know where to continue where it left off. Uh, if you wanna learn more about this, go check out my other video on DynamoDB pagination. I go through this in depth. Uh, so this is basically how it works. You just kind of um, provide a table as a target, then you can optionally provide a filter expression to narrow down your results. Uh, so let's look at this in action using a Node.js example. Um, so here we are. So we're specifying a params object, which is gonna contain basically the input parameters to our request. Uh, we're pr providing the expression attribute names that we care about. Uh, so pound AT for album title, pound ST for song title. Um, we're also specifying the values that we are looking for. Uh, so we're saying we're looking for no one you know, and there's this weird notation here, colon A. This is just because this is how the DynamoDB um, query language uh, looks like. So it'll make sense if we're looking at the next step here. So the filter expression, we want the artist key, um, the artist column to be equal to colon A. And colon A, as we saw over here, was no one you know. So essentially what we're saying is apply a filter such that all of the items that are received back have a artist equal to no one you know in this example. And then we're also setting a projection and the projection is being ST and AT, uh, album title and song title. Um, so if we combine these two things together, the filter expression, the projection expression, what we're saying here is scan this entire table, only give me those where the artist is equal to no one you know, and only give me the column attributes, album title and song title. So in the results set, we're only gonna get the album title and song title attributes for each row. We're not gonna get the entire row. Uh, so that's what this query is saying. Um, so we have the table name obviously, which is required. Uh, we're performing the scan operation here, providing a callback function. If it's an error, then log the error. If it's not, then log the stuff that we get back. And this is a sample of the output that we receive back. Uh, so we get the consumed capacity, the number of items that we uh, have kind of scanned. 
Uh, sorry, so no, this is the number of items that we retrieved back. And we can see that that is different than the number of items that we scanned. And the reason this number is larger than this number is because even though you applied a filter expression, the number of items that you're scanning will always be um, potentially greater than those in which you retrieve back if you're using a filter expression. Because DynamoDB doesn't work in a way, you know, where you only charge for the amount of rows that match your filter expression. It looks at all of the rows in your table, then applies the filter expression on top. Um, and then only gives you back the subset. So that's what we're saying here. It, it scans all three, but you're only getting two back. Uh, so keep that in mind, because that can have an impact on the cost of your scan operation. And then we're just seeing inside the items array, we're seeing the uh, payload, which is the, the rows that we retrieve back. Uh, so we got album title and somewhat famous as the value, and then song title for combing today as the value for that uh, column. And then likewise, we have the same thing for the second item that we get back. Uh, so hopefully this video was useful for you. If you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.